No, they've actually all been terrible. As I migrate from one to the other, it's like. What up, y'all? It's Ryan from Black and Crew Chicago. Now we are about to take a look back at y'all's favorite thing, all my hairstyles. That was like one of my first attempts at trying to like keep a beard because I don't really keep a beard. I think I was trying to look more grown or something. Also try to keep a line and it end up becoming like a under chin beard. My face was round, so my cheeks is overpowering my beard and I just look like a 43 year old, 13 year old. Me having a low cut was actually cool. Like now that I look at certain stuff, it's like, man, everything you do can have some type of level of being amplified if you're in shape or if you take care of yourself. This was the point where I was becoming like, you know, my biggest in weight, that big round lemon ass head. It looked like I'm sweating, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, got my arms out, got them folded, ain't no cuts in my arms and I was like, what you doing? And I never kept a, a line and I never kept, a, never kept a haircut. This is another level of me probably only looking okay when I had a haircut. I think I was comfortable back then, so again, starting to get a little bit more round, round about that head. I don't know what I was thinking back then, man. I like wanted to grow my hair, but I didn't want to grow my hair because I hadn't had hair in years. So it was like, hey man, I, you know, I got some nice hair up top, so I'll start this halfway high top fade thing. But again, should have been in shape. I remember that shirt. I had some titties in that shirt. I definitely look like my dad right there. This was in my phase of I'm about to just go to a new level after I've come from where I was at. So I was starting to grow my hair. But as everybody knows, like it's an ugly phase to growing your hair. It's not even like an afro. It was like a, a Japanese black curly afro thing that would either curl up and go straight back or just flare out. That don't look right with a blazer and a v-neck, fam. I was on the grind, man. I really ain't care, you know what I mean? So it was like, hey, I'm gonna just get through this and I'm, I really ain't paying attention, you know? This was the beginning of my training. I used to run, you know, I used to work out every day. I was actually starting to fit clothes that I wanted to fit. I was able to braid my hair now, so now I'd be out of the way. This was like the start of my fitness journey. And this is where I was like, I ain't never gonna look how I used to look. You know, maybe that's why I, all these things going wrong because I don't feel good about how I look. So we at least gonna look like something. This was like halfway through my fitness journey because it's probably one of the first times I had taken my shirt off in about four years, you know, around anybody. And if you know what that's like mentally for a man, it's like, you know, you can either care, you don't care. I cared a lot about how, you know, I looked after the breakup. I was to a point where I was okay with it. It wasn't as critical. But I was okay with it. I saw progress and I'm like, all right, man, I, you know, I'm getting to a point. I actually hop in a hot tub around some people. I wasn't doing that before. And that hair was just everywhere. I think like I took my braids out and it was just curled. I was about to put it in the ponytail. So, but it was long enough to be like, all right, it's hair. And it do what it do. This was when I finally got to the point to where I could put my hair in the ponytail, you know, and not have to have it braided all the time. Part of the internet now, people just act like they ain't never seen a mixed black guy with, you know, some straight hair. So I've been every joke in the book about how slick my hair is and how it looks just because I have it in ponytail, I guess. Only villains in movies keep their hair in ponytails or whatever. This is when I started becoming more comfortable with myself again. As you can see, I put on a green suit. You know, everybody can't put on a green suit, but I had a green custom tailored suit. I'm a funny dude. A lot of people don't see that about me. So I like to joke around a lot. I like to put on costumes and theme stuff. You know, and I'm from the old school, man. You know, Snoop feel like, you know, straightening his hair and then, you know, curling it. You know what I mean? That's from a whole different era that certain people don't understand. And that's a that's an old player thing. So if I got some hair, I'm gonna make it look good. I don't always gotta have it just in one style. And it might be funny to some people. It might be nice or it might be interesting or it might be a wow, but you know, I did it. That was the grand opening of my new shop. And it took a lot for me to transition to get to that point of being a new businessman, of being a, a new leader. You know what I mean? Of being a new teammate, you know what I mean? And a different level of entrepreneur. So. Yeah, man, it was a, you know, a little bit of feeling yourself. <laughs> That's how I am halfway now. 
for a, a long time, I just reverted straight back to black. Like it's one of my favorite colors. And at that time, I was going through some things. You try to seclude yourself in many ways, and that might be from not letting everybody see how you want to express yourself and dressing and things like that. The black would have to speak for itself, but I was at least in the gym. I was at least at a point to where, you know, I was more comfortable with myself, and then I just had to start dealing with the things I was thinking about. This was another level of understanding a lot of the things that I've forgotten about myself. I do a lot for, you know, any and everybody, and sometimes I forget my accomplishments, and then for me to go on Steve Harvey's show, you know, for as much as I respect Steve Harvey and what he does, just for something that, you know, was seen around the world. You know, I was supporting my brother, and this was something that was able to be seen by somebody of his stature, and to be congratulated for it is like, I ain't putting on no regular, like if you know Steve Harvey for one thing, it's about suits. So I couldn't put on a regular suit. I had to put on that suit suit. You know, we call it putting that shit on. You know what I mean? So I had to put that shit on. And Steve Harvey congratulated me on my suit. He commended me on my suit, you know? And the hair was just, you know, like I'm Japanese. It's a traditional top knot. So I put one up there, made it look different. I wasn't gonna have no braids with that, that custom suit on standing in front of Steve Harvey, you know, so it just made it look different. It was a little extravagant. I took a picture in that. That was the most likes I ever got on Instagram ever. It was like 200,000 likes back then, just on, you know, it being a nice suit and dressing up, you know what I mean, from what people see outside of your norm. Shout out to that suit. That looked like I'm just in leader mode. Regular ponytail. I was talking to my sister right then and there, but you know, the gist of it was I was coming in the shop every day with my team halfway living in the shop. Nothing mattered more than progressing my team and then leading my people. I'm looking at these and I'm trying to remember what mindset I was in for these more so than how it looks. I could care less how, you know, I look in a lot of these. But my hair used to be thicker, so like to me it's thinner. It looked thick. Hey, shout out to my mom and daddy, man. I'm a mutt, you know, Japanese, black and Indian and Irish and, you know, why is it, hey. I guess that's what that's what it come up to. <laughs> you know, thank God for getting older because now me having these Asian jeans, this beard never grew up and now it's growing up some, so now I actually have a beard because back then it was just like here and down. Yeah, that uh, whack ass Velcro strip beard and then that curly fro and uh, that high top fade that I let get too high. <laughs> never again. What up, y'all? Ryan Henry, Black Ink Crew, Chicago. Make sure to subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel.